Identify the class shown in the color plate. Reverse approach circlet. Reverse action half and half and embrasure. Now, although this is a very straightforward image based question, I'm going to discuss a very few uh, important concepts just to brush up important topics. So please watch this video. You will understand what all these options are. Okay. Now it is very uh, easy for everyone to get confused between these reverse words when it comes to clasp assembly. I just want to tell you that this is a tooth bound edgeless area. So this is a Kennedy's class three, for example, this is the near zone and this is the far zone. A simple circlet goes from near zone to far zone. Okay. From near zone to far zone. The reverse of this is the reverse circlet clasp. See this here from near zone to far zone. This is a simple circlet. Okay, a simple circlet clasp. It is contraindicated in distal extension because the tooth will start to tip on the other side. The reverse of this is known as reverse circlet. So in this case, this is the near zone and this is the far zone. The clasp goes from far zone towards near zone. So the tip is in the near zone and the clasp originates from the far zone. You can also have an additional rest over here like this. So the first option is a reverse approach circlet clasp. This is what I'm telling you. This is a reverse circlet clasp. Look at the image. Does this look like a reverse circlet clasp? No, it has an additional hook like feature. Correct. So this is specific to a fish hook clasp. Fish hook also known as hairpin clasp. Now, both of them are not in the option. There is another name for this kind of clasp, which is known as reverse action clasp. That is option number two. Okay, we will come back to all of that. So this one here is a reverse circlet clasp. Circlet, okay. The second one over here is a reverse action clasp. The one that is given in the question. This is an embrasure clasp and this is a half and half clasp. Now reverse circlet I told you is important for distal extension, partial dentures. Reverse action also known as fish hook and hairpin. It is also a type of a simple circlet clasp, which after crossing the facial surface, it loops. Okay, it loops like this and creates this kind of a hook and engages that undercut. So the upper arm is rigid. This is rigid and lower arm is flexible. So based on the location of the undercut, you are going to give the contour of the clasp. The advantage or other indication of this is that the undercut adjacent to edentulous area can be engaged and it can bypass the soft tissue undercut very easily. So if you can't take any gingivally approaching clasp, if you cannot use an eye bar, then you can use this kind of a design. The disadvantage is that because there is too much metal, the aesthetic is poor and because there is too much metal, there is more food entrapment in that area. Now an embrasure clasp is, is the name suggests from embrasure of the teeth. So there are two retentive arms and two reciprocal arms and there are two rests. So this is one and this is two, something like this. Okay. So an embrasure clasp is used uh, in case of uh, the tooth bound side of class three. So if there is uh, a single unilateral edentulous area and on the other side, that is on the completely dentulous side for cross arch stabilization, for getting a better spread of the design, you will use it on the opposite side of the edentulous area. These are known as embrasure clasps. And lastly, there is half and half clasp. Half and half clasp is not very routinely used. There are two minor connectors and it's a split kind of a design. Okay. You see there are two minor connectors over here and this is a split kind of a design and it gives dual retention, but you will need a lot of rest, a lot of metal component. And again, it will cause a lot of food lodgement. So in the current question, we are talking about reverse action clasp. So know these concepts clearly. Okay. Because all of these can be independent questions in the exam.